This video is about identifying parallel and perpendicular lines from coordinates. So we've got three lines and each line passes through a set of coordinates. So the first thing we need to do in order to tell whether they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither is to find the slope of each line. So if I want to find the slope of line 1, I'm going to call that m1. So I have to do the second y value minus the first y value over the second x value minus the first x value. So I get 0 plus 3 over 8 plus 4, which is 3 over 12, and that reduces to 1 fourth. Then if I want to find the slope of the second line, I'm going to repeat the same process, but with the lines from line 2, the points from line 2. So second y value minus first y value, second x value minus the first x value. So I end up with 2 minus 6 over 0 plus 1, which is negative 4 over 1, which is the same as negative 4. Then if I want to find the slope of the third uh, line, I have to do its second y value minus its first y value over its second x value minus its first x value. Here we get negative 4 plus 7, just getting rid of, in this step, all I'm doing is getting rid of double signs. So then I end up with 3 over negative 9, which is negative 1 third, okay? So now we start comparing lines 1 and 2. So we're going to compare this two lines together. Now, in order for them to be parallel, they would have to be exactly the same. And they're not. So they're not parallel. In order for them to perpendicular, you can think of it one of two ways. Either one, you think of it as they are opposite reciprocals of one another. So this one's positive, this one's negative. This is 1 over 4, this is 4 over 1. So these guys are perpendicular. A second way you can think about it is if you multiply these two numbers together, do you get negative 1? If you multiply two slopes together and you get negative 1, then they are perpendicular. So if I type in my calculator 1 over 4 times negative 4, I do get negative 1. Therefore, these two are perpendicular. Neither. Um, if you selected one of these two, you cannot select neither. You're only going to end up having to select one out of all three options. And since I already selected perpendicular, it can't be neither. Now we're going to compare one and three, so these two together. They are obviously not the same, so they are not parallel. And if I do the reciprocal of one, I don't get the other. Also, if I use the second technique, if I multiply those two numbers together, I do not get negative 1. Therefore, they are not perpendicular. If they're not parallel and not perpendicular, then we select neither or neither. Now we're going to compare 2 and 3. So 2 and 3. Again, these two slopes are not the same, so they are not parallel lines, and these slopes are not opposite reciprocals of one another. They're not even opposite. This is negative and so is this. So they're not even opposite signs, much less reciprocals of one another. And you can also verify using the second idea that if you multiply the two slopes together, we do not get negative 1, therefore they are not perpendicular. And if they're not parallel and they're not perpendicular, then you would select neither or neither.